Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about shaft flex. So let's get started. So for this test I used four shafts from Mitsubishi, the Mitsubishi Kylie Blue using the 60R, S, X and TX, the Tor X, which is a little bit stiffer than the extra stiff shaft. They're all the same length and I asked my colleagues to cover the numbers on the shaft so I didn't know which one I was using. So here's the ball data, and as you can see, I was using these shafts uh, in a blind test. So shaft A uh, was the regular shaft, shaft B was the TX shaft, shaft C was the stiff shaft, and shaft D was the extra stiff shaft. I could definitely feel the differences in these ones. I was not quite too sure about the difference between C and D. Definitely between B and A it was very, very different. Ball speed, as you can see, is reasonably similar. It's just maybe, as I say, with the B, so i.e. the TX shaft, a little slower ball speed here, and the ball flight was slightly lower as well. That's also the one I was hitting the shortest, but it was also the one I was hitting the straightest. So definitely the, the, the Torx, that's going to be something that someone's going to be looking for who, who has a lot of speed, who needs to reduce dispersion maybe bring the ball flight down again. So that's pretty, pretty logical stuff. However, when you look at the other ones between the regular, the, uh, egg, the stiff and the extra stiff shaft, ball data is pretty much the same. Launch angle pretty much the same between the uh, regular and the stiff shaft. And surprisingly enough, with the extra stiff shaft, the launch angle is actually higher. So something's happened to me. This, the shaft has affected me in a different way making me hit this ball a little bit higher. I also generated a little bit more ball speed with the extra stiff shaft and a little bit more distance. But actually, generally speaking, the, the, the launch conditions were reasonably similar apart from the one which I couldn't move, i.e. the TX, and the one I felt really good with, which was the extra stiff. So here we are on gears with the two shafts or the two extremes, so with the TX on the left and the extra stiff on the right. So the extra stiff was the one I got the best uh, best numbers out of and I had the best feel with. And the TX was the one with the, the, the worst numbers and the worst feel. So basically just at address here, I'm just going to take them both to impact. And you can see here what we've got already is a little less loft with the TX shaft than with the extra stiff shaft, so we've got 16.7 degrees of loft with the extra stiff and 15.6 with the TX. Also deflection wise the TX is a little less, we've got 28.68 millimeters of positive deflection or lead deflection and with the uh, extra stiff 32, so there's only really four millimeters of difference in, in, in deflection, so not an enormous difference here. You can also see there's a slight difference in angle of attack Angle of attack was only five degrees, five degrees and a half up with the TX, but six degrees and a half up with the extra stiff. So the extra stiff has definitely changed slightly the way I'm swinging it. So that's why I was getting a little higher ball flight with this one. So just a little bit more lead deflection and angle of attack, a little bit more upwards on it, gave me better launch conditions and a little bit better distance. So it's just more to do with feel than really anything massively changing between the two shafts here. 
So as you've seen, the very small differences between each shaft, whether it be the ball data or the gears data, apart from maybe the TX shaft, which was definitely stiffer, the way I felt swinging these shafts was completely different though. So I'd say it was more important to find a shaft that you feel good with, be able to produce the right trajectory, the trajectory you're looking for, and a consistent impact point. So it's more important than finding that sort of, that sort of feel than just looking at the S or the R or the X that's written on the shaft. Flat shaft flexibility really doesn't matter. It's what you're able to produce as far as trajectory is concerned. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, like and subscribe. If you haven't, like and subscribe anyway. And I hope to see you all very soon.